All right, meantime, Walmart announcing its answer to Amazon Prime. It's called Walmart Plus. CNBC's Melissa Repko has more on this service, Melissa, which we're taking a close look at and trying to figure out how it compares, what it has, what it doesn't have, perhaps, that, that Amazon does. Tell us your thoughts. Yes, hi. Today, uh, Walmart has officially announced its subscription service. This was much anticipated. And the service will cost $98 a year, or there's a monthly option, which is $12.95 a month. But it looks very different than Amazon Prime. And Amazon Prime, of course, is the comparison. I spoke to the chief customer officer, and she said, we're not launching this to compete with anything. But at the end of the day, customers and analysts and investors will be looking to compare the two side by side. And Walmart's looks very different. It's offering three key perks. One is free delivery of grocery and other items to the house, fuel discounts at its gas stations, and then also the use of an app called Stand and Go, which allows people to skip the line and check out themselves through a smartphone app. Uh, and so, you know, they also held out the prospect, Melissa, of more to come. Do we have any sense as to what else they might do? And, of course, this is taken in the larger context of Walmart really making significant inroads digitally, just in general, as it tries to compete more effectively with Amazon. That's right. Its e-commerce sales nearly doubled in the second quarter. And Walmart's really seen benefits from the pandemic as everyone's turned to it for or a lot of customers, including new and core customers have turned to it for a wide variety of things like grocery. And Walmart's really looking to hang on to those customers and build on the growth it's seen during the pandemic. And their chief customer officer mentioned that they may be adding more benefits, that this is kind of a starting point for them. But two core elements of this are leaning into that pandemic trend. One is people want groceries conveniently delivered to the home. And if they're a member of Walmart Plus, they won't have to pay a fee for that. They can get as many as they want as long as they meet a $35 threshold. The other piece is the scan and go. People are looking for contactless ways to pay. And that access to the app will be limited to only Walmart Plus. Sam's Club customers may be familiar with that because they already have access to the same thing at the Warehouse Club. Melissa, thank you. Uh, It's interesting to watch. Here's a Walmart reacting quite positively. And look out if it starts to get anywhere near a multiple that other digitally focused companies do. Uh, Melissa Repko from CNBC.com.